Okay, here we have my Altoids tin survival kit and a few other items I carry with me daily. Now, before we get started, I would like to point out that I am not, nor do I claim to be a professional. Therefore, if you choose to make and use your own survival kit using information in this video, you do so at your own risk. The best survival tool is your brain. Use it. Now that that's out of the way, please bear in mind that this kit is very small, so it is rather limited in what it can do. My small satchel kit would be much preferable, but the goal was to make a kit that could fit in a shirt pocket or two. All of that said, let's take a look at what we have here. First off, we have a space blanket. This is obviously rather minimal, but it does work for shelter as needed. Uh, this can be carried in a shirt pocket easily, which I tend to do. Secondly, we have my keys, and attached to them, a mini Swiss Army knife with scissors, tweezers, toothpick, file, and a blade, an SOG Micron Tanto, not a large knife, but definitely sharp and good quality, and a Leatherman T4 Squirt with its assortment of tools. <clears throat> These three items do provide a host of functions in and of themselves as needed. Lastly, we come to my Altoids tin. Let's open her up and have a look. Inside, you'll see we have a wire saw for cutting items larger than I can with the uh, small knives on my keys. Also, several Tinder Quick fire tabs, useful for starting fires, obviously. <clears throat> a few uh, Ketodyne water purification tablets to ensure drinkable water. We have here a small button compass. Now, with this item, it may be worthwhile to spend a few dollars more to get one that works. Many of the extremely cheap dollar or less ones simply do not work well, if at all. Also, we have a tiny LED flashlight. Now, admittedly, that's rather minimal, but it does provide a decent amount of light in a small package. We have a small plastic bag for water containment. Uh, again, not the best, but it does work in a pinch, which is what this is all about. We have here a very small fishing kit. Again, minimal, but serviceable. <clears throat> Inside the uh, tin foil here, we have several uh, wind and water resistant matches, and these are the Strike Anywhere variety, so those are handy to have. Also, a tube of super glue, another very useful item for just about anything. <clears throat> Some snare wire, which can also be used for other purposes. For medical, we have some topical antibiotic, a couple of butterfly closures, and one band-aid. Again, minimal, but it is what will fit in the kit. We have a survival multi-tool, which, as you can see, uh, features a host of functions. Ruler, blade, saw, Hex head wrench, bottle opener, can opener. And at the bottom of the tin, we have a survival fire starter lens. A little bit difficult to get out. But another means of uh, providing heat. And the tin itself is useful as a makeshift signal mirror. Now, as you can see, I've placed all the items back into the tin. And as you may have noted earlier, it is all a rather tight fit. But this isn't a problem because we have duct tape, which I will wrap several layers of around the tin. 
This serves two purposes. Obviously, to keep the tin closed, and secondly, well, duct tape is another useful item to have in a survival situation. Last, and by no means least, I carry a small pocket New Testament with me. This is a guiding light for me in times of trouble, and a reminder of the only true salvation. All in all, these items are minimal, but the entire assemblage fits easily into a Ziploc baggie for waterproofing, and one or two pockets for carrying. Now, with these items, you have at least something in the event you can carry nothing else with you. Some additional items that may be handy to have are a water-resistant pad and pencil, a cigarette lighter for lighting fires and saving your matches for, uh, for last resort, <clears throat> and a paracord bracelet, which I do not show because mine is still a work in progress. If you would like to build a kit such as this for yourself, or for that matter, much larger kits up to and including vehicle-sized kits, may I recommend Build the Perfect Survival Kit by John McCann. Again, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I am not, nor do I claim to be a professional. If you choose to build and use your own kit following this video, you, and you alone, are responsible for learning to safely use all the items in it. Next time, we'll go into detail on the small satchel-sized kit that typically at least goes with, me, goes with me in the car, if nowhere else.